Hey guys, Ivan here and another video about Chicago Pro. So in this one I wanted to talk a little bit more about Rolly. So we all thought Rolly is going to destroy this show. He is going to destroy everybody, including Hunter and everybody. But look at this, look at what happened right there. Brett Wilkin, a rookie, a guy who is doing a pro debut at his show. He got the middle spot instead of Rolly. They switched places, Rolly and Brett Wilkin. Did you guys see this coming? I did not. Why is this? Well, first of all, Brett. Brett brought an amazing package. Really, a really clean, fresh look and uh, really great conditioning as well and a lot of size. This guy turned pro, I think, two years ago in Classic Physique. Then he did 212 and now he's doing the Open. Wow, wow, I did not see him do this well. Now he took Rolly's spot. So is he gonna place higher than Rolly? <laughs> I don't think so. It could happen though, maybe because he's more professional. He has better posing uh, stamina. Rolly is, is struggling. Rolly is really struggling to hold the poses. You can see that in the, in the later part of the video. So here, Brad Wilkin is holding his own against Hunter and Rolly. He's challenging Hunter too. So that was really amazing, honestly, guys. And Rolly, he was fading away. As the show went on, he was fading away. But the first thing I saw in, in the beginning of the show, Rolly downsized a lot. Look at his legs. His legs are tiny. He lost so much size, what the hell happened to him? He didn't compete in two years, but I thought he's gonna be fresher. He's gonna look better. He did bring better conditioning, but... Look, the triceps are absolutely amazing, that's for sure. But overall, this guy is supposed to be the freak. The freakiest bodybuilder of today. But then something even worse happened. Look at this guy, top three went away. And Rolly ended up in the second call out. With these two guys. Moshe Shaban and Hassan Mustafa, who are horrible with conditioning. He was fighting these two guys. Come on, come on, what happened with Rolly? Was he really that bad? Was he really that bad? He clearly, he clearly beat these two guys. Yeah, let's be honest. I mean, I don't know why did Steve Weinberger put him in this second call out. Yeah, I, I don't see it. I think he's much better than these two guys. I mean, he's more conditioned. These guys are way off with conditioning. They are just not, not conditioned at all. They're just, they just fail it. Rolly did bring conditioning, come on. Yeah, his stamina while posing was bad. Look at the hamstring drop right there, that's crazy hamstring. And look at the arms, the shoulders, the chest. A lot of separation, he was in good condition. Smaller, yes, and weak stamina while posing, but condition. Then they realized that and they put him in the top, in the top call out. So is Max Charles gonna beat Rolly Winkler? No, come on, no. Yeah, he's in great condition, he's shredded and huge as well, but he doesn't have that kind of structure. No, no, I don't see that happening. I think Rolly is gonna be probably second. I think Brad Wilkin is not gonna beat him tonight. I don't think so. I think Rolly is gonna do something and he's gonna be much better at the finals. I think so. It's gonna be... I can, I can see Rolly being third, but that's the worst case scenario. But for Rolly to win the show, it's gonna be tough. I think Hunter is in a, in a, in a, in a dominant lead. I think Hunter is gonna win this show. I can predict him winning it. Yeah, yeah. He's just big, probably even bigger than Rolly. Guys, Hunter is bigger than Rolly. What the hell happened here? <laughs> he looks bigger, but nobody has shredded glutes like uh, like Brett. Look at all those lines on his glutes. He's really shredded in that department. But Hunter, the best combination of, of all things. Size, fullness, structure, symmetry, completeness overall, and then conditioning and the posing. I think he is in the lead. I think he is gonna win this show. Right now I can say that, yeah. Second between Brett and Rolly. It could be Brett. I don't know. I'm just drawn to Rolly. Maybe it's because I know him for very long and this guy is a rookie here. Maybe that's why. But I don't know. Look at, look at the back double bicep. Yeah, Brad probably has the best glute separation, but overall size, uh, I think Rolly is just a little bit bigger. So I do think still it's gonna be between Hunter and Rolly. And Max Charles, even though he was conditioned, he has some poses like this one, where yes, you can see the size and conditioning, but you can see some thick skin and you can see some not, not the prettiest, not the best structure. So I think Max Charles is, is firm in fourth. As far as the second and third, I think it's a battle between Rolly and Brad. But a lot can change from the pre-judging to finals, so I think top three can go either way. I think Brad can win the show, yeah, and I can see Hunter and I can see Rolly win the show. So we'll see what's gonna happen until finals. As for now, I think we are pretty, pretty much uh, set in stone as far as the top three, fourth place and top six. 
So side chest, once again, uh, you can see that Roly has bigger legs. Overall, he's bigger than Brat, and I think that's why he's gonna take him out. Also, again, in the back, in the front double bicep, sorry, he looks bigger. He looks bigger than Brat. So yeah, Brat brought better conditioning, and he's uh, conducting himself a little bit better on, on the stage. He has more stamina, he's posing with more confidence, but I don't think he's on that level yet to beat Roly Winkler. So it's gonna be between Roly and Hunter, if you ask me. And Roly might be in better shape than Hunter. Quite a bit smaller, quite a bit smaller, not the role we know, but conditioned, look at the stomach only. So back double bicep again, I mean you can see the size, uh, and the role just overall has the size, but Brad has a really pretty shape, so yeah, it's a good show guys, it's a really good show, the best show of this year yet. Very competitive, very competitive, top 6, top 4, top 3, very competitive, I don't know who's gonna win this show, I have no idea, all of these guys are great, a lot of great conditioning, uh, a lot of great packages, so great show once again, and uh, look at this, look at this, this was in the end, this was the final round, after so many, so many rounds, they really tortured Roly. in the end he just wasn't even able to hit a proper absent ice, he was so tired. So, I, I'm sure they know they tortured him, and that's probably why he lost uh, his stamina, and that's why he didn't really pose that well, but I think he was sweating profusely on the stage in the, in the, in the first round, so I think the judges saw that, and they will mark that as weakness. Uh, is it gonna be a weakness enough to, uh, to put him in third? I don't think so. I think he is gonna be uh, in that second, or even first. We'll see what's gonna happen until finals. However, this was a great show, great, great show. Rolly, smaller than before, very conditioned, Hunter, amazing, Brad Wilkin, what a surprise for a rookie, for a, for a pro debut, amazing, amazing, pro debut in the open. So overall, great show, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like it, subscribe for more Chicago Pro and all kinds of bodybuilding videos in the future, thank you so much guys for watching, all the best and bye bye.